Hello guys, this is Krishna Deja, pursuing B.Tech, CSC Data Science at Anna Institute of Technology. This is the architecture of the API. We send the request from the publication to the API using the internet and the API send the request to the database using web server and the web server fetch the data from the database and send the response to the API and the API send the response to the application using the internet. Let's discuss about React. React is a framework which is used for front-end applications. Here are the key features of React.js. Easy to use. React, React is not only easy to learn but it is easy to use due to flexibility of the React.js. Virtual DOM. The virtual DOM is if you update a component it does not affect the actual app. It performs on the virtual DOM. Seamless updates as we discussed before in the virtual DOM. The component does not affect the actual app. It's the component and then render to the actual app. It does not affect the actual app. Reusable components. Reusable components is component is a set of code. We, we can reuse the code using React.js components. Developer tools. The Chrome, Firefox, Edge, etc. supports the React.js to develop Trend applications. Open source. The React is open source. We can download any modules using npm in React.js. As we discuss about the React and API, now let's discuss about integration of API using React. Here we use the fetch service to fetch the data from. As we discuss about the integration of API using React.js, now let's see the process. I, in this video, I use Weather Open Weather API for an example. To use in React.js, we need to install Node.js. To install Node.js, go to a, go to a browser and search for Node Node.js. Click on the first link and click on Download Node.js. And install the Node.js on our system. In this case, I have Node.js set up on my system. Now let's take the other API from the Open Weather API. Search for open open weather API. Click on this link. Click on sign in and create an account using your email. After sign in, click here and my API is. Here is an API, API key, take this key or generate another key. Now let's create a React project, go to your working directory, open command from, use this command to create a React project, npx create React app, app name, After creating React project, open the folder in VS Code. Search. Yeah, here see this is 
today data and these are the next five days data now let's code now let's understand the code yeah. I use this use effect and use state to manage the state and side effects app.css importing the css file and these are the components which I used later we see about the components here api key it is the weather api key and these are variables used to store the data purpose of use effect to fetch weather, weather data from the open weather map api whenever the city or state changes this code is used to fetch the data from the open weather map and store the data in daily data if any error occurs it show in the console the group data by day is used to convert the api data into structured data The convert to date is used to convert the timestamp to the tradable date. This is the hour to make some such functionalities and to display the name of the weather app. This is input button to take the data. If users type something, it will automatically change the city using set city and if the here I just created two components to display today data and next five days data. I use today component for to display today data and tempo for next five days. Here I use today component to display the today's weather and temp component to display the next five days temperature. Now let's see let's see about the temp and today components. Component displays today's weather details including temperature, condition, humidity, and wind speed. Displays the this displays today's weather details including temperature, humidity, wind speed. It, this this component iterates over the next five days data and displays it in individual cards. This is today's today component. The main purpose of this component is to display to current day weather details. Current day weather details. It accepts props as an argument which contains the weather data for today. 
here we use some icons to display the condition of the weather okay. here we render the information about the current weather and the Now we will see how to integrate bootstrap with react, go to the bootstrap, go to the browser and search for bootstrap, click on this link, go to docs, Now take the CSS link. Take the CSS link and go to the index.html page and paste this link here. 